Well, it's, uh, about a half hour afternoon. It's, uh, 12 hours and, uh, 35 minutes into the fourth day of June. And we've got another package opening. Let's see what this is here. I think this might be the knee brace. Open it up and find out. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a knee brace. Here it wraps around the knee and helps you out when you need it. All right, so that's about it. Uh, if I have anything to say, uh, I'll probably come back later on and, uh, and we'll talk a little bit more. But right now, it's sleep. Well, this is as centered as it's going to get in terms of the frame. It is 20 hour, 21 hours and 30, uh, 26 minutes into the fourth day of June uh, 2021. And we're just getting the day started. <laughs> uh, this is uh, from what was going on in my sleep. Uh The sleep always provides with a, with, with a number of different options. Uh, I've been other people again in the dreams to see how I would handle particular situations. Um, being other people allows you to see things from other perspectives. Rather than keeping to your own perspective. It's not always a pleasant thing, but it is nonetheless reality. And the thing is, is that even during the day when I'm awake now, some of the dreams, because they are uh, sufficiently lucid, I'll remember them when I'm awake. Um, you know, the, the, the story will flash into my mind and I'll be sort of uh, there in the dream uh, while I'm awake. So uh, that does occur. It just what happens is that. I think this is what causes the altered state is when you get the water gets to to a point where you're so tired that uh, the dreams just keep coming in. And the thing is, is, is you see, there's no off. There is no real off to uh, you know. So, oh, I went to bed. Now this is my vacation. It is my vacation. It's in terms of allowing the the physical part of the body to recuperate, re regenerate. But in terms of the psychological sense, then there is no the the the, the soul sense. Because psychological means soul. Uh, there is no rest. There's no relaxation. It just basically you move from one point to the next. And I guess it, it sort of intertwines with things that you see on TV, different th different shows. If you sort of watch the personalities, you can then take it back to your reading and compare the personalities with what you see in the reading. Uh, you know, in other words, there are a number of ways to cross, cross once you've got enough experience in there. there there's enough uh, enough experience. There, there, there are ways to cross-reference. Uh, 
your various different thoughts and ideas as the library grows and these interconnections uh, make for a better understanding it's a better puzzle in terms of what the overall picture is going to be because you see how things can be interconnected even though they don't necessarily seem to or didn't seem to uh, in, uh, seem to be connected in the beginning you didn't necessarily understand that there was a connection there but as you went into something as you went into whatever it is that you let's say there's now this whole area on Voltaire which brings in Lion LeBron I didn't expect uh, Lion LeBron to be coming to be pulled into this but yet he is, and, and it's because th 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 you have uh, you have Newton, you have Leibniz, you have Planck, you have Dostoevsky, and you also have uh, you also have uh, what's his name uh, Pythagoras. And that adding Pythagoras into things, seeing where these things come to, add in a whole new aspect, going back to Gnosis, go, you know, going back to the dreams again. Uh, it is something that, that, that you, these things you, you thought they were disconnected, but now all of a sudden they're starting to connect better. And I think that's what happens with, with Planck, as Voltaire, who wasn't a scientist at all, closed the door on the soul, Planck reopened it again. And this is what, the, what quantum physics and the M theory uh, brings us into parallel universes. Uh, so what happens, we do have other existences and stuff uh, so that are there and th that in many ways uh, could be reasons why things occur what, the way they do because you have intersections between various different universes sometimes. In other words, they're not necessarily parallel. And there are examples within the, um, the, the path that I'm on of parallel universes, uh, interacting with the other, with others. Uh, you also have it within Hinduism, most of the main religions, if you look at the theology, there's always a, a, a elements of the, called the spiritual universe, interacting with, with the physical universe. Those are two parallel universes, if you want to, so you have the sort of confirmation for this, uh, inside of, uh, uh, inside of uh, uh, super strings M theory, that's that's particle physics. So you go, you know, basically from the structures of the of the atom, basically starting with the electron, and then they're going moving to the photon. Uh, that was the Planck's work, and then Planck, Einstein took it further and brought it into uh, all of matter. Uh, you know, all matter has a dual nature, both wave and energy form. And this isn't superposition, this is uh, indeed these two states of existence existing in a, in a sense of simultaneity. In other words, you're, you're stepping outside the logical universe. And that's what quantum physics is. Quantum physics is the end of the logical universe. If you're going to go further into quantum physics, the, the logical universe disappears and you're now into something else. Uh, it's not conceptual. It is beyond you. Uh, you can observe things, but the understanding, because it's not it's not something that is logical, is simply not there. You you can observe, but your understanding is going to be extremely limited. And this is where you bring in calculus, calculus, which is the mathematics of approximation. Remember, you can't prove things with calculus because math because calculus as a fundamental is the mathematics of approximation. But yes, nonetheless, uh, people in their own hubris and their own pride will ignore this, and I'm going to prove this, and then more often than not, they end up being incorrect, and they walk away with, you know, well, don't look at me, because, <laughs> you know, they've done something wrong. Uh, and, and, and beyond that, you actually have outright, just simply outright, you know, flat-faced denial of that anything ever went wrong. I mean, this is what you see with Fauci, this is what you see with a lot of the CVD is why, you know, you see all this confusion because there's a lot of denial in there. Things have gone horribly wrong. They don't want to admit they couldn't predict the stuff. And so they're all, they're, they're all in a, basically in a state of denial. This is what we're seeing. 
Uh, and so what happens is all these areas interconnect. These are the interconnections. And it involves Lionel, it involves Voltaire, it involves Dostoevsky, it involves, uh, you know, Pythagoras, uh, Newton and Leibniz, and there's, there's others in there as well. Uh, one of the ones I forgot to mention was Gauss. Gauss is, plays a huge part in this. Uh, there are elements within history that we don't necessarily understand how they interconnect and how they influence. And it wasn't that it, it, people think that it, it, it's all one thing, but it's not one thing. It's it, it's again done in fractions. And progress doesn't occur because of the destruction that is that is caused by conflict. Uh, Progress occurs in spite of it. it. When the war occurs, when the tragedy like that occurs, a necessity is created. And in that necessity, people rise to the occasion and become more inventive because they have to be in order to be self-sufficient. The more self-sufficient you are, the more you produce. The less self-sufficient you are, the more dependent on the government or someone else, the, the, the less productive you are. You don't produce because... You don't have to. You, you, you're living comfortably. You, you know, somebody else is providing for you, or something else, like a government. And you don't have to be productive. You don't have to be innovative. Uh, you know, in terms of using whatever you have. But in terms of a person who is self-sufficient, and this is what happens when you have wars, and so like people are displaced, and they have to go rebuild their homes again. And start from nothing. This is what we see with a lot of the older people who came from World War Two. They came over with nothing. You know, this is my, my uncles, my 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 uncles, my grandparents, my you know, Thea's and Theos and, and Yaya's and Papus. There was a lot of them. They started with nothing. They and rebuilt their lives to whatever whatever they had if had or have here. So. Uh, but again, the young people don't understand that. This is a, an experience that uh, has been removed for them. They don't have that experience, and so they don't have that understanding. As I say, this is where experience comes in, where you have ex experience gives you some degree of understanding. It doesn't give you everything, but it gives you enough. But if you don't have that experience, even you have the academic side of things, you know, the intellectual side of things, without the experience, uh, your knowledge is incomplete. But <laughs> again, that's it. The knowledge is always incomplete. You always have, it's always a fraction of knowledge. It's fractional. It's a fiat system. Well, the, the, what they call the fiat system is a fractional system. It's calculus. Anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, this is how we come to these points and how we, the vlog is now shaping up. <laughs> uh, anyways. So you may be on the ride vlog, I don't know. I might come back later on, but I might not either. It depends on uh, where my sleep schedule is. Right now I've been doing a lot of sleeping. It's been going good. My body's more rested, so... I'm going to go have a shake. I just had a breakfast sandwich. And now I'm going to have my shake with the different teas. It's a combination of teas. Alrighty. See you later. I haven't vlogged back here in a couple of days. Things have just sort of gotten out of hand. Uh, and there wasn't any chance to vlog because, uh, well, I've been knocked out. This <laughs> is sleeping very heavily. Anyways, it's just 40 minutes into the ninth day of June. And we do have another package opening. And I really don't know what it is. I can't remember what I ordered that would have that would, would would be this, but we will soon find out what it is. Okay, in a uh, not in the box. That's what this is. It's for my laundry room. These these things were gone. I thought these were long gone. I'd never they never show up. I got my money back for them, but they came anyways. They were reported lost in the mail. These hang in the dryer.
so that you can uh, use them to uh, uh, put more clothes in there. It incre incre increases the, the capacity of the of the, of the uh, clothes dryer. Of course, now I'm just going to be using the back uh, warehouse one because uh, that's where I have the ventilation system and that takes care of the heat. I'm not going to be using the one in front, so I'm still cleaning up the uh, back room one uh, from the last batch of laundry. But I've, I've now I've got something new to put in there and uh, it will allow me to do, uh, in terms of uh, socks and so on and so forth, it will allow me to do more of them because that's what I put my socks and, uh, and the uh, shorts on. So. Uh, I will have e increased capacity within my dryer. So yay for that. Uh, happy about that. Uh, completely unexpected. I didn't know what it was. But uh, I guess uh, packages get lost. Packages uh, sometimes show up very randomly depending on where they end up going. I mean, I remember one package that I got had ended up, ended up in France for some reason. And... Uh, by the time I got here, it was like two, three months later, and uh, didn't really expect the package to show up at all. So, happy with that. Uh, <coughs> the vlogging and conversation back here really depends on uh, how the schedule goes. If I don't have the opportunity to vlog, then no vlog occurs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go start the YouTube stroll. I'm going to get myself um, the uh, iced tea smoothie that I make for myself. I'm going to have that. And then continue on. Well, it is uh, one hour and uh, 51 minutes into the uh, 10th day of June. I did check. I got that correct. Mm. It's Thursday. <laughs> we know that much. Uh, it seems weird. I'm just now sitting down to do the YouTube stroll. I'm at the Yowie Vlogs. A place where I usually start off. Uh, it seems bizarre that this is the, we'll call my go-to routine that I feel comfortable with. This is sort of my security blanket. When well, nothing else in your life is routine, there are things that are routine that you kind of cling to as sort of your go-to thing, your, your base where you feel comfortable, and this is kind of where I feel comfortable here, so, um, when we were away for a couple of days, and that's what's happened, we've been away for a couple of days, not able to get here, uh, in any prolonged sense, uh, you feel bizarre, <laughs> it, just, it just doesn't feel like the right day uh, all the shopping's been done the doors have been sort of repaired I'm waiting for other shipments to come in yet yeah, to come in uh, for to fi finish up with the screen doors because uh, it gets very hot in here and it's easier to have the doors open uh, with a screen door than uh, without the screen door so uh, that will take care of that uh, I am doing some prep work to go up to my trailer in uh, up north uh, that might be in a couple of weeks, probably around July 1st. We will see what happens. The bugs up there are very bad uh, because it's a humid year. It's going to be very humid all year long like this. So, uh, anyways, uh, I, I'll wait for about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, we'll get my egg. I did another batch of uh, hard-boiled eggs. I used the machine, the, 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 um, machine I got that makes the hard-boiled eggs it does an excellent job within uh, seven hard-boiled eggs uh, in just about 19 minutes you gotta wait for uh, 10 to 20 minutes for for a cool down so that you can have a warm egg rather than having it too hot and burning your hands so th that will be the time frame and then I'll have uh, I'll make another batch of shakes after that so well so we'll still be on our YouTube stroll by then all right uh, maybe we'll see you a little bit afterwards